Well, I think uh, they just like the they like the upside of Bradford, and there is upside with them. Is there rawness, and is there some problems out there as far as pass protection, especially with him and his technique and and coming around? Yeah, but uh, I think it's his physical potential that really enraptures them a little bit and wanting to keep him there and believing that that will continue to develop with time. Well, I think, and this was especially true prior to the Connor Williams trade, you didn't have really any veterans on that offensive line to, to sort of keep things steady. And I think that there's some, there is some measure of value into that. How much you give it, I'm, I'm not sure, but I think the team certainly puts a measure of value into that. And that's a big part of this reasoning right now. I think that the team likes a lot of what Bradford brings to the table. And there are going to be rough edges around with Bradford like there were last year, but that the upside is there and is true as well. And that to reach the upside, you have to allow Bradford to play. Bradford's not going to reach that upside sitting on the bench. Bradford is also not a left guard. This is a bit of the benefit to me of building an offensive lineup. It's why I've kind of given John Schneider more credit on this, where people are still kind of trying to bury him at times for the lack of building up the offensive line bit bigger and better than it is right now, where I say he's been hitting this over the last couple of years. He's been hitting this multiple times over. Have it, Has it all been first, second, third round picks? No, but those have been mixed in there with other picks on the back end, and he has continued to add bodies and bodies and bodies here So you're going to end up at times when you do that, when you want to turn something like this from a place of being your greatest weakness into at least something of a quasi strength, then you're going to have depth that's going to have to sit behind that's quality depth that on other teams might even be starting. But because you've you've built it up strong enough because you look at it right now and you go, hey, you know, Haynes is a rookie. Bradford's coming into his second season. Bradford's got this great upside here. And we like Haynes' upside too, but he is a rookie and he's learning the ropes. And we don't want another guy out there learning the ropes. So we'll put Lakin out there early. I do think when we get settled and done, when it's as the season winds along, I think that you'll eventually see probably Haynes slide out in there to left guard. But that there is something that I think the team looks at as far as the steadiness he brings early on in this season right now with Lincoln, which is a big driver of this decision. DJ says, hate him or not, Bradford was the only person that that can go toe-to-toe with Byron Murphy during camp. That's for sure. I like his upside too. I don't mind rolling with the ropes on Bradford. I know there's some pull to get Haynes out there, but uh, with when it comes to just having Bradford, you want to have Haynes go to left guard, I'm good with that. But I'm okay with letting Bradford continue to roll and de- continue to develop and roll out there as the starter and see what he can do. I, I do trust in a little bit of his upside. And remember again, just didn't have a lot of college starts. So his rawness is not surprising. It's not coming out of left field. Should have been, we should expect it. The key here is Bradford's upside. Him being a 98th percentile athlete. Him having huge long arms and and bear like power. That's the part that you look at and you go, can we can we develop on that? Can we continue to grow that part? 